anyone else ever get picked on, it's not a fun experience. And the excuse kids will be kids really isn't a good one. To find out some of the science behind bullying and what to do when it happens to us or a friend, I called up Robin Hill. She's a licensed mental health counselor and has some great insights on bullying. I started by asking her to tell me a bit about her job. Take a look. Yes, I'm a mental health therapist. So basically what I do is I talk to people for a living. I sit down with them and talk about how things are affecting their mood or their feelings and help them find ways to feel better about the way they're feeling. I went to school, I got a master's in counseling and I learned different techniques to help people change their emotions and change their thinking patterns so that they can feel better about themselves. And so I know that you talk with kids a lot about bullying. What, um, what exactly is bullying? Because it's not just someone, um, you know, name calling or picking on you. Yes, bullying um, is when a child tries to give themselves power over other children. And so they do use a lot of words. There is picking, sometimes there's physical violence. One of the main things that is very hurtful is when they isolate a child from the social group. Now, not only are people picking on you in class or in a social environment, but it's also on the internet. And it can be very, very hurtful because that stuff people can't get rid of. Once a meme is out there and is viral, it doesn't go away, even if the original person takes it down. So we definitely want to stay away from cyberbullying. What might cause someone to bully? It's various reasons. There's no exact science to it, but a lot of times it's people who have grown up or children who are raised in environments where being mean is a common factor. Um, they're protecting themselves from those around them, and so they become mean towards everyone that's around not born a bully but you can learn that this is a way that you navigate through the world definitely definitely and so i wonder what is something that um, kids can do if they see someone being bullied i always say point it out to an adult let the adults intervene don't try to um, handle it yourself um, but what you can do is not participate in it if you see a kid being bullied or being isolated Bring them into the group. Don't let them get pushed out and um, ostracized from everyone else. Is there anything I should do different if I'm being bullied myself? If you're being bullied yourself, uh, I would say first, make sure you let an adult know, whether it's a teacher, school counselor, principal, parent, whoever, so that they can help change the situation. But also your own thing that you can do is your affirmations is a great tool to use say things in the morning, uh, remind yourself of how great you are so that those words throughout the day do not, um, do, don't hurt you as much because you know who you are. I like that, that we kind of talked about how bullying can be learned, but you can also kind of unlearn it yes. by, by building yourself up. Definitely, definitely. It's a great tool to use. Well, thank you so much for chatting with me today, Robin. I appreciate it. Thank you so much.